Welcome, hole number seven here at the Quarry Golf Club. Head golf professional Pat Doyle here. We're in one of our washed out bunkers. Uh, this happens on a uh, almost daily basis this time of year in June, July, uh, and August. Uh, the club has been dealing with these for a while now and a plan is in the works for the very near future. In the meantime, I just wanna first thank Rodney and his staff for all their hard work in preparing these on a daily basis but also repairing them uh, after heavy rains that we get at, that leave the bunkers in these types of states. Um, in the meantime, uh, we wanna address and implement a new local rule that will give you relief in this situation where your ball ends up in here and it hasn't had a chance to be groomed yet uh, or repaired. Um, so we're calling it a washed out bunker uh, local rule. After a heavy rain event, a bunker that is washed out and not groomed or repaired is deemed an abnormal course condition. Players are entitled to free relief in the bunker and should proceeding according to rule 16.1 slash C uh, for relief uh, of your ball in the bunker. In the rule book, uh, it states that you are only given relief from an abnormal uh, course condition if there's water in the bunker. So, hence why we're implementing this rule uh, is to say if there is no water, such as this bunker here, you can still take free relief in the bunker, okay? Um, so, what happens here is this ball's right here. I'm deciding that I'm not gonna play it. The first thing I'm gonna do is decide where I want to drop, uh, use a tee as a reference point, uh, and then I'll drop it within one club length of that position. So, uh, for me, I will probably drop it uh, say right here so it's not in one of the ruts. So that'll be my reference point there. I'll use the club and I can drop it in the bunker anywhere uh, within this one club length. Okay, so there, I've taken relief from this washed out bunker area. My ball's in play. Uh, it's up to me to hit it out now. To summarize, our local rule is saying, if you're in a washed out bunker, you're entitled to relief anywhere in the bunker as long as you're not closer to the hole, okay? So, from this point, I could have gone anywhere back here uh, in this bunker as long as I'm not going closer to the hole to take my drop, okay? So, under normal conditions, this bunker would be groomed and would be played as normal. I wanna be clear in stating under normal conditions, no relief can be taken for footprints or poorly raked conditions. However, uh, this rule only pertains to relief uh, from a washed out, ungroomed, or unrepaired bunker, okay? In the rules of golf, you're also allowed to drop outside of the bunker in this case, but you would have to take a one-stroke penalty. So that's your option, it's also one, so you have three options in this case. Play it from there, take your drop here for free, or drop it behind the line back there uh, for a one-shot penalty. Uh, it would uh, should be apparent to most of our golfers uh, what a washed out bunker is compared to uh, normal conditions. Uh, in this case, this one looks pretty washed out, uh, so uh, this local rule would be in effect. However, if, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to call and, and talk to one of our PGA Assistant Golf Professionals. We're here to assist. Thanks, uh, have a great day.